Hmm, seems that Brisbane is on fire. So, if we have to go, which whiskey bottle are you going to take first? We shouldn't joke. At some point, it's going to get quite close to this house at the bottom of the frame. The, uh, the fire helicopter is doing a great job. Hi everybody, Phil here. Lieber. And we are back from Scotland. Fantastic. Hmm. Well. Oh, that is a bit harsh. Five-year-old Bona having a little warm-up before a little blind taste. So hopefully you enjoyed the uh, whiskey haul video, probably yesterday. <clears throat> Are there any bottles that you're particularly excited about that we've brought back? Them, uh, many of them. Yeah. Actually, I don't think there are any bottles that I'm not looking forward to. Otherwise, we wouldn't have brought them, uh, would we? I don't know, but I prefer each. I have no regrets. <coughs> no regrets. Yeah, there are some good ones. I'm quite looking forward to the Glen Scotia. Uh, because that tasting was amazing, wasn't it? Wait, where are we, guys? How was that? Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. But we bought the 19 year old bourbon barrel, single cask, and it'll be uh, fascinating to see how that shows up in blind tasting and whether it takes us back to the warehouse or whether we don't make the connection. What about you? What bottle are you looking forward to? I don't know about the Afrock, we know as well. We got a good many of the book. The Lafroy day. That beat. That's right. We had a full sort of day out with Lafroy. So it was very I am. Jam number two Aha. is ever <laughs> Karchis Cask Strength Triple Weed. Oh, you've thrown away the cork. Oh, that means we have to finish it. <laughs> we actually we all went for the Fino barrel, which is this one. <laughs> And um, you can always buy the cask strength 10 year and do a little blend with the Fino. What else? Uh, mm. So we'll, after, after today, we'll be going back to our blind tasting. No more exciting distillery tour videos for a while. That's a shame. You'll just have to put up with us wading through our blind tasting nonsense. Um, what else? Actually, we'll be having, we'll do in a bit of a catch up because there are some videos. Uh, from before we left that we'll do a bit of a catch-up and we will still do some shop tours San Francisco when we find them, but um, I have to wait till next year I guess before we have a whole slew of daily videos like we've had I this year. Me more <coughs> dusty shops. Well, we'll have to try and find some dusty shops. Okay, what do you make of these three? Hmm, what do we have here? Oh, it's <laughs> peat. It is peaty. Oh, oh. I don't know how deep flavor compared to a father or pretty. Now, I should warn you, these are all cask strength. So that's why I had the little warm up one to start with. But maybe it might be worth taking a sip. And you doing also peat as well. More herby. I can tell you they're all peat. So, oh, they are. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Deepa doesn't know. Obviously, you know and I know. <laughs> it's always good to have Deepa not know what's happening. I put a fee from all three peat. Well, you give me your notes because I know what they are, obviously. Very difficult. Let me take my watch off. It just keeps banging on the table. Beat. Oh. I think more herby. Beat. Nice ashy strength in this I one. I think uh, a goodie. Beat. 
Do it. It's sweet, herby, woody. Sweet, herby, woody. Mm -hmm. Okay. At the theme of um, I mean, I have that one. It's just because it's woody for me. I probably up an order. That would be the oldest of all three. Just have a sip. Tell us what you're finding. Oh, it is quite strong, alcohol-wise. I think, oh, from Aya. Hmm? Mm. Oh. I was the maybe from Tresot, yeah. You don't have to guess. Just tell me what you think is in, not, tell me what you taste. Mm. It doesn't matter about where it's from. We'll get to that later. Okay, and this. <clears throat> yeah. It's interesting for me knowing what, where these, where these have come from, especially this one. Uh, that oh, it, that it was from the, the warehouse tasting at Lefroig. I'm not getting um, deep flavour, but I'm getting some kind of perfume as in it. Uh, yeah. The almost flowery perfume, but it's unfamiliar to me. Okay, just move on to this one. This isn't going to be a long tasting. At least that's what I'm hoping. Mm. I think it's more famous to me. The apple is maybe it's a fino. I can see it's the apple fino. Oh, Deepa thinks this is Lafroig fino. Oh, you don't like this one? No. Well, maybe it needs... It's very silent. It needs more time, but it's actually the more... That I'm getting very nice finish. Hmm. But I, I feel that it's very sweet. I think it's also sweet as well, but not that sweet. Uh, so if you had to pick one, which one would you pick? I think it's been two after this. So I'd probably go for this one. So this one is more average. Because it's more common. I think it's unusual. More common. A bit more unusual. Hmm. I think it's too bitter for me that I got for the fact that I Okay. Well, it's funny that you picked Lefroig Fino. No. One of these is Lefroig Fino. I, I said this one. Which one is Lefroig Fino? The one that we picked from the warehouse tasting? No, you've already tasted. Just tell me which one you think is the Lefroig uh, Fino. Not this one. It has to be this one. But you, uh, you my God, for them, they must be that one. <laughs> well, let's see. This one. Fino. Is the Lefroig Fino. Oh. Oh, I see. And by that, what I mean is this is, oh, that's quite hot, isn't it? Uh, 2011. So this is only a, an eight year uh, Fino eight. cask strength. Eight. And the last time we drank this was at Lefroig in the warehouse. And we were quite drunk by the time we got to it. Once you've picked what you want, you can start bottling as well. You don't need to wait on me or anything. But it was a fantastic. Got the, uh, spun, uh, uh, for. <laughs> but it was a fantastic last day, wasn't it? And look, the weather is perfect. Beautiful day, sunny Saturday. It was a fantastic finish to the trip. That must be the Bulati. No, this one is Lefroig Cask Strength. This is batch ten. That the hours we brought with the trip. Yes. Uh, let's see. I'm not surprised about this. 58%. About right. And this one was 56%. Now, my understanding is that the, the cask strength is predominantly bourbon barrel, but tell me if it's not. I don't think there's much sherry in this one. Uh, uh, it's my favourite. So if it's a favourite, there might be guest or here. No. This one is why I picked the Fino at the warehouse because this is 50-50 of these two. Oh, I'm stuck! <laughs> I am never happy whenever you <laughs> die me a blender. But they're both- I like to be pure. Well, it's, it's pure Lefroig, but it's, they're both um, cask strength. So this is effectively an 
eight year because it's obviously got some pheno in it, but it's 50% pheno, 50% of this, 50% of this. That, that's perfect because I like this the most. Mm. I thought that to a common and think to put it and mm. in, in, in me fit enough. In fact, I'd be tempted to go maybe one third pheno to, you know, two thirds cast drink. When you go to the full pheno, it is a bit harsh and woody, isn't it? I also uh, every oh. thickness, viscosity. I don't know, it's a bit sweeter now. It's pretty nice. <laughs> and I brought the front of viscosity. Mm. The, the oiliness, the thickness. Yeah, a bit more honey and then obviously more towards the deeper sherry flavours in, in here. But I think um, somewhere in the middle is nicer. That is kind of dark fruit and medicinal, a bit minty. And maybe it's a bit more like the Karchus. It's, it's beautiful, it's fern and eyes. It's, it's, in, it's an indent. And I have to for this on its own. Well, it's still a Laphroaig. It's still a cask strength. Are you prepared to sacrifice a full bottle to mix, to make a... Yes, I am. One last taste. Hmm. I think it's a bit too heavy. It's a bit too much on its own. But then I'm um, after to put the bottle. One of the nice things, I think Ardbeg did a good uh, warehouse tasting, at least from a learning experience, and Laphroaig also was good because at Ardbeg, they broke down, you know, the separate components of what normally goes into an Ardbeg, you know, between bourbon and sherry. I can't even, we didn't, we weren't allowed to video the Ardbeg one. But the, the Laphroaig was also similar that we had pure bourbon, we had Oloroso. I think and we had, Sarah. did we have Oloroso? We had Manzanilla and, and we had Fino. And it was, it was very informative to, to taste the separate components. And you can understand why you mix a little bit of sherry in with the bourbon to create something which has a bit more richness to the flavor. Having said that, we still tend to bias towards the, sher uh, the non-sherried whiskey because we really like that um, Glen Scotia bourbon only barrel. Uh, but, Oh, it's nice. I'm really happy that we brought the Fino back so that I can do some blending. So my, my intention is to take Laphroaig cask strength and a good chunk of the Fino. Yeah, you are at that in mind. And maybe I'll go, this is 50-50, right? Aquavite glass, by the way. Cheers, Roy. Mmm. We go full full fino. Mm. The full fino is just a little bit, a bit of it's a bit harsh. Maybe it's a bit younger, but it's a bit powerful. Bit of a bitter turn punch to it. But it's uh, more sweetness that this. I miss it. That's funny. You're from. saying sweetness, but I. I think the finish is more bitter, even though the initial contact is sweeter. Sweetness. So they a beautiful contrast of sweet and bitterness. The bumping. And this is more honey with smoke. We haven't even talked about the peat smoke, really. This is more honey smoke, ashy finish. But the one in the middle, the blend. Mm. You get the honey of the... The cask strength, presumably bourbon. And with it, I would prefer to be water of fino and bottle water of this. Oh, so maybe we stick with 50 50. And I'd not go as fino. Okay, we'll go 50 50. <laughs> so, how has the Scottish trip changed your 
relationship to to our blind I tasting. I feel closer. Feel more. I, I, more I, I feel this if I start this. More appreciative of so, Scottish culture. Wow. So, in, in that history. Intense history. Because I'm only got it for new. When we get back, I thought it all is so new and country. I definitely have a sense of how long it takes to make a good whiskey. Wow. You know, just, just walking into the warehouse and seeing those barrels. <laughs> Let me in! You've got to be patient in this business, haven't you? Now, when you taste this, I think the fact that you pulled it out it does take you back to the warehouse, doesn't it? Because as soon as you went from this one to this one, you immediately connected with the Fino from Lafroy, even though you didn't know what it was. So do you feel more, when you taste this, does it take you back to Lafroy? Oh, yes. And, and also draw me back to all those friendly people. Yeah, all the people as well. Wow. Yes. Each person, a character, a beautiful character, very sherry. Yes. Cheers, Amy. Amy, who took us on the Lefroy tour. Also, funny thing happened this morning. We were out for our Sunday run. By the way, we're a bit fatter and heavier and slower. Even though we're only just back from Scotland, it's kind of shocking compared to our oh. marathon weight. But we went out for a run this morning. And we are by the ocean, San Francisco Bay at least. And you get a little bit of briny ocean air. And there was a bit of something burning in the background air. Now, it was a California version of Isla, but it was a little bit smoky, briny on the run this morning. And I was thinking, oh, it's like being at Ardbeg or Lafroy. And this is there, but we start on the Yeah. I thought we met at the end. I thought in Ardbeg, you did the same thing. We both had I this, said, oh. we both had this flashback to Isla running this morning with a bit of briny air, with a bit of smoke, something that was burning. I hope it's not something burning you know, in the distance. Okay, so we're back. We have a lot of fantastic bottles coming up and we'll do a little bit of catch up on videos and then we are going to have to start trying to, we need to get through these bottles faster because I can't wait two years to have another taste of them. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. No, cheers, pick something else up. <laughs> or that one. <laughs> Cheers everyone, and thanks for watching all the videos. Uh, we hope we can continue to do some more. Oh, that smell. I can't remember all the other guys' names who were with us in the tasting. That does take me back though, right to that warehouse. <laughs>